cold cases involving unsolved disappearances often capture the imagination of the public due to strange details that emerge during some of these cases. Some of the strangest missing person cases have remained unexplained mysteries for far too long, often stretching decades and they desperately need solving. Number 5 41-year-old Jennifer Leanna from Dover in Delaware went missing on the 9th of October 2020 after making a strange request to her mother. Jennifer, who is known to visit the Maryland area, was last seen in Delaware and her family has stated that they are concerned about her as she has a history of substance abuse. In her last phone call, she asked her mother to please take care of her baby girl. Her mother has told police that she found this very strange, as she usually just says, please take care of Natalie. Jennifer's family has had concerns over her addiction before, after she fell in with the wrong crowd, but they've told police that it's never escalated to the point where she went missing. They found it strange that she could just disappear like she did, as she doesn't own a vehicle and therefore couldn't get easily around. All their attempts to get in touch with her have been unsuccessful which they say is very out of character for Jennifer. It's not known what she was wearing at the time she went missing, but she's described as 5 feet 1 inches tall and weighs 130 pounds. At the time that she disappeared, her hair was cut short, but it should be noted that this was more than a year ago. She has a pierced belly button and various tattoos. The first is of a rose on her hip. The second is of a rose band on her upper right arm, and the third is the words Daddy's Little Girl on her forearm. She also has a scar on the center of her back. At the time of her disappearance, she's known to have been carrying a striped tan and gray Gensport backpack and a small brown purse. Detective T. Ford from the Delaware State Police Criminal Investigative Unit has asked anyone who may know where Jennifer is or has any information on her case to contact him at 302-698-8569. Alternatively, they can also contact the Delaware Crime Stoppers at 1-800-847-3333. Number 4 The strange unsolved disappearance of 21-year-old Dane Elkins occurred on the 21st of December 2020 in California and is made all the worse by the fact that he suffers from mental illness, which requires him to receive urgent care. Dane is known for his proficiency in racquetball, a talent that saw him earn 23 worldwide junior titles, and a feature in the May 2017 issue of Sports Illustrated. He became only the second person in US history to win all three number one gold divisions at the USA Racquetball National High School Championships. He also holds a black belt in Taekwondo, and at the time of his mysterious disappearance, he was studying engineering at UC Santa Cruz. At 8.20 on the 21st of December 2020, Dane repeatedly called 911, saying that he was stranded on the I-5 freeway in Templin Highway after he had a tire blowout. He added that he wasn't feeling well and help was immediately sent to his location. When authorities arrived, however, they found his car with flat tires, but Dane was nowhere to be seen. When his car was checked, his wallet and cell phone were found inside, but a search of the area, which lasted two full days, didn't yield any results. At the time, Dane was living with his parents, and he had told them that he was moving out to go and live with friends, but his friends told police that they hadn't seen him or heard from him. His mother told police that during their last conversation, he seemed paranoid. She added that he may have hitchhiked to Southern California or Kern County, and that he feels at home in Bakersfield, where a few homeless people have claimed to have seen him. His family has asked anyone who spots Dane to not approach him directly as he may leave the area. Authorities have asked anyone with information on Dane's disappearance or whereabouts to contact the LAPD's Missing Person Unit at 213-996-1800, the LAPD 24-7 hotline at 877-527-3247, or the TIPS hotline at 800-222-8477. 
Number 3 23-year-old Amanda Grzelski was reported as a missing person on the 17th of March 2020 when she mysteriously disappeared from Derry, New Hampshire. During the month, she'd been staying at the Nashua Hotel but decided to spend the night at a friend's place. She packed two backpacks with clothes, her cell phone, and her purse before going to the friend's apartment which is located on Birch Street in Derry. That night, Amanda and a few others stayed up late but she didn't go to bed when her friends did. When they woke up in the morning, they found that Amanda was gone, but her purse, cell phone, and backpack were still in the apartment. When she hadn't returned two days later, they contacted one of her family members who then reported her as a missing person. When her phone was checked, text messages were found in which she said she wanted to move to Salem rather than stay in Derry. When police tried to trace the number that the texts were sent to, they found that it belonged to a burner phone. The wooded areas near the apartment were searched with the help of canine units, but nothing was found and nine days after her strange disappearance, her social security card was found outside the Elliott Hospital. Amanda is known to have had issues with substance abuse and her family believes that she may have been a victim of foul play. They've stated that it's out of character for her to stay out of contact with them for extended periods of time as she's never been out of touch for more than a week. Police are considering the theory that she may have met with foul play, though no clear evidence has been found to support this theory, and so her disappearance is being treated as a missing person case. She is described as 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighs around 135 pounds. She has a tattoo of a butterfly on her right hip, another of a small heart on her left rib cage and a peace sign with a tree on the back of her neck. A $1,000 reward is being offered for any information in her strange case. And if you have any information, you're asked to contact the Derry Police Department at 603-432-6111. Number 2 32-year-old Brandy Lynn Hall's Unsolved Missing Person Case started on the 17th of August, 2006 after she left her workplace at the Malabar Fire Department in Florida where she was a volunteer. That night, she was scheduled to work a full shift and at 9.30 p.m., she phoned her husband and spoke to her children. At around 10.45 p.m., she told her colleagues that she had to leave work early and left in her green Chevrolet truck. She spoke with the station's fire captain, Randall Richmond, on the phone for about 10 minutes at 11.06 p.m. But she never returned to her house and the following day, the same day that her husband was due in court for charges relating to manufacturing illegal substances, he realized that she was missing when she didn't answer any of his calls. Later that same day, her truck was discovered in a small pond close to the Brevard Community College in Palm Bay. Investigators found biological material belonging to Brandy in the car, and a bag containing her firefighting pants, jacket, boots, and helmet were found floating in the pond by fishermen. On the 19th of August, the wooded area surrounding the pond was thoroughly searched, but to no avail. The pond was eventually drained, but still there was no sign of Brandy or any clues as to how her vehicle ended up submerged in the pond. Initially, Randall Richmond, the fire chief, told investigators that he hadn't spoken to Brandy for weeks, but when it was discovered that they were having an affair, he changed his statement but insisted that he had nothing to do with her strange disappearance. When he was asked why they had spoken on the phone that night, he said that she told him she was thinking of leaving town. On the 24th of June the next year, a backpack was found by fishermen in the Vero Beach Canal that contained some of Brandy's belongings. Brandy remains missing, and anyone with information on her whereabouts is urged to phone the Palm Bay Police Department at 321-952-3456. Number 1 In July of 2021, 28-year-old Nikki McCown and her fiancé, Robert Bobby Webster, who she had previously dated in high school, 
were three weeks away from getting married when she disappeared under strange and unsettling circumstances from Richmond in Indiana. On the 22nd of July, the couple was making preparations for their wedding. At around 12 p.m., Bobby went to get his suit altered, accompanied by his brother. Nikki told them that she was on her way to the laundromat to do laundry, and on the way, she dropped her daughter off at her parents' house. She returned to their house at around 1 p.m. while waiting for the laundry to finish, and her mother instantly noticed that she seemed irritated. When she asked what was wrong, Nikki told her that she'd been harassed by two men at the laundromat. Her mom asked her not to go back alone, but Nikki said she would be fine and left, never to be seen again. When Bobby returned to their house at around 4.30 p.m., he noticed that she wasn't there, and when she'd still not returned by 10.30 p.m., he started to worry. The following day, her family decided to file a missing person report when she was still not home by 8 a.m. They were able to obtain surveillance footage from a nearby deli where she bought a soda, but the footage didn't provide any clues as she wasn't followed or in anyone's company. Her family spoke to her co-workers, but they hadn't seen her, and her bank account as well as her phone records showed no activity. A few days later, it was discovered that Bobby had contacted the Montgomery Education and Pre-Release Center, where she was studying to ask for her unused tuition back. When he was told that her studies were being paid for by her work as a head accountant, he became irate. It was also found that he had canceled their wedding and had returned the wedding rings that she had bought. When he was questioned as to why, he stated that he wanted to buy a cell phone as they didn't have one at the time. He was asked to take a polygraph test, and when he was asked whether he was responsible for Nikki's disappearance, the needle jumped off of the page. On the 3rd of November, Nikki's car was found at the Meadows of Catalpa Apartments in Dayton, Ohio. Her folded laundry was still inside, and the car was impounded for testing, but no further clues were found. A second person of interest, Tommy Swint, was questioned by police as he was involved in another woman's disappearance, that of Tina Marie Ivy, but he ended his own life before he could be arrested for her murder. Nikki remains missing to this day, and her strange disappearance has become a cold case. Anyone who may have information on the case can contact the Richmond Police Department at 765-983-7247. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But I've been Ty Knotts and I'll catch you guys in the next video.